Uh, I can't help but wonder, are all those decals on the tower a little bit distracting? As racers ride by, maybe they stop to admire the art a little bit? Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and one of these teams today will have to face the Porsche team in the finals should they win. X-Racers and Bugatti being the two today, Sharon and Slidekick, both of these teams had quite the race in round one, and it's going to be a battle between the two for sure. Slidekick, one of the best racers there from the X-Racers, starting off quite well, and honestly, I'd be very surprised if the Slidekick got kicked out in the first round here, and that he will not, as he comes across way ahead of the Bugatti. And this Bugatti being the Sharon, who was actually quite good last race. Nerf Hammer and the Veyron. And maybe this race will even out a little more. X-Racers. Dominant so far again. A few lengths out. Here we go down the first couple of turns. Nerf Hammer still holding his nerve pretty well. And smooth to that transition. That was beautiful. Did not bobble at all. Honestly, admirable run from the Nerf Hammer. X-Racer, certainly some of the most dedicated racers we have here at Races and Fun. Veyron and the What For Two. And they're out there almost every day, trying to figure out the course, you know? Just, uh, figure out all those nuances about the racing. I think the 4-2 went up on the side right there. Wheels vertical for a second, but somehow he will still win that, and it'll be a 3-0 for the X-Racers. Fourth race here, High Tech Missile and the Veyron. Right now it's 3-0 on the X-Racers. Bugatti's got to come back here, make some sort of stand, and maybe this is it. The Veyron, few lengths ahead, going into the first turn. Trying to hold that lead as the X-Racers come back. They're even through the third turn. Now the fourth turn looks again to the X-Racers. And, well, it's been a shutout so far and seems to continue. Halfway through round one and Bugatti's... Not even been close. Veyron again in the two-timer. I'm trying to see where the Bugatti team is going wrong. They were quite dominant in their first performance. <laughs> Veyron right there had trouble <laughs> getting into turn one. And that's easily going to be the end for this race. That will be 5-0. And I don't think Bugatti is even racing at this point. Oh, there he comes. Somehow found some footing, but way late. That's 5-0. I don't know if we've ever had a shutout here at Races and Fun in round one, Bulletproof and the Veyron. I mean, at least in something where we took it from uh, eight teams down to the best. I don't know if we've seen that sort of shutout before. Right now, X-Racers working on maybe the first time in Races and Fun history. Oh, X-Racers trouble out of the turn there. Wheels there on the side in the transition, but still manages to win. What's going wrong on the Bugatti team? Veyron and Phantasm. And they roll out. We're about even. Phantasm, actually one of the better races on the X Racer. So I'll be surprised if he loses here. Veyron goes up on the side there. Both wheels almost rolled right over the side. And again, the X Racers. 7 0. One more win, and I think we have races and fun history in at least tournament racing. Power Rocket and the Bugatti. Can the Power Rocket pull this off? This is the best racer from the Bugatti team. We saw this last time, the 94. And this is the best chance they got to end this shutout. This perfect game of sorts here in racing. And the Rocket's on his side, and he has no speed. And the 94 will just avoid the shutout. Power Rocket... Had power there into turn four, but it all fell apart into the transition. And he rolled on his side for a good couple of seconds. And he's got to be feeling pretty bad. He's the only X-Racer to not hold on in round one. Bugatti with one car going into round two. Here's to the next round. High-tech missile and the 94 Bugatti. It's up to the 94 as the head of the team to keep things going as far as he can. Into the later rounds. Bugatti, both of them bobble a little bit into the first turn. Here we go to turn three. Still looking good for the Bugatti team. Out into the transition. They're even in. The Bugatti's backwards. I think the X-Racers already put it away. And that was a few-length win there for the high-tech missile. 
And now we're just going to cut down an X-Racer. It's Phantasm and the Bulletproof. And that's a tough loss for the Bugatti team, who looks so good in the last race. I don't know what happened. And even for the 94, it's very rare that he's that bad in the transition. Phantasm will stretch the lead out down the back stretch. And he's in good position to go to the next round. Two-timer in the slide. A little bit of competition. A little uh, within-team competition here. And so the X-Racers competition is their middle name. And they're all going to be racing just as hard, if not harder, against their own teammates as they would against any other team. Sidekick right there. Once again, getting another win. Certainly racking up those wins to his name. Nerve Hammer and the What For 2. Nerve Hammer. Bright orange car here on the near side. 19 painted on the side. As the What For 2 has a, quite the motor there on the top. And here he comes with a lead down. The Nerf Hammer has some speed coming out of the transition. That's a chance. Uh, but the What For 2 was accelerating down that hill. And the Nerve Hammer won't advance. Well, we have four X Racers. And we'll head to the semifinals. Let's go Phantasm in the what for two. Phantasm here, a mix of pinks and purples on that car body and a lovely hood, I will say. Certainly looks futuristic to me, while the what for two usually takes that all that old tiny look. And the Phantasm actually gonna lose this race. The what for two found some speed. He usually is not the top of the team for the X Racer, Slidekick and the High Tech Missile. Who will face the What For Two here in the finals? High Tech Missile starting out pretty bad, length behind as the bright red Slidekick slides into the first turn. Here comes turn three and four, and the Slidekick's got this all but wrapped up as he heads down the last straight. And it will be the Slidekick and the What For Two to battle things out in the finals. We'll go to the finals. And this should be a good one. What for two and the slide kick? Slide kick. Also with a more futuristic look down the hood. Dark wheels, not very shiny. But certainly a sight to look at, especially when he's out there racing. Blur of speed. Here comes the what for two. Actually held the lead down the back straight. And he will take the first one in the finals. Where was the speed in round one? I think he was uh, eliminated in rounds one or two of that first race last video. A few videos ago at this point. So I don't know where it's coming from. Slidekick trying to hold on. He's already behind. Here comes the transition piece. And the Slidekick won't accelerate at the end. The what for two? He will take this for the X Racing team. That will be the what for two. And the X Racers will advance to the finals and face off against the Porsche team. We will see you next time on Races and Fun.